Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mario Sluggers League Season 3. Today we have got the Peach Monarchs taking on the DK Wilds. This is sure to be a good one. So, what we've got today, we are on the lovely ice, lovely Peach's Ice Garden. We are going to see what happens between these two teams. So, uh, both of these teams so far, if you look back on the standings, they both have not, do not have a win yet. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be a win for one of the first <laughs> team members. Blue Yo Yoshi just watches that ball come straight down. Maybe he thought that he would scare away the. Uh... That was an inside the park home run. All right. Maybe he thought he was blending in with the ice and he was gonna scare away the ball and it wouldn't actually land and it would go straight to his pockets. But fortunately, that was not the case. All right. So that was another that was another quick out there. Yellow Toad has a pretty nice hit right down the center. Likely Yoshi's gonna catch that one. Toadette is going to come forward. She's, she's gonna use her star power, hit it, bonk it off right off of Dixie's big noggin. And that's going to advance Yellow Toad all the way up to third. Shy Guy. Going to aim for a hit. Oh, Yellow Toad is now caught between home and Home in third. He's trying to get a run. What's he gonna do? Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong have a nice, a nice brotherly game of catch. Now Toad's worth joining in. He's slowly advancing. Oh, and Donkey Kong finally catches on. Just keeps that right in his, his furry little hands. All right, we've got the DK Wilds coming up to bat. Let's see if they can bring it back in the bottom of the first. Tiny Kong is up to bat. I was gonna say he started off strong, but unfortunately she did not get a. Well, she was not able to get to first. All right, we've got a time paradox here. Beach versus herself slash maybe her child. I don't know how that works. All right, now we've got Dixie Kong. Yellow Toad's gonna launch it right to first. Very quick three outs on the part of the, mon of the Monarch. Alright, heading into the second inning, we've got Peach Monarchs up by one. Alright. Have you ever thought about how hard it must be to, to play on this, really, on this ice skating rink? They must be sliding everywhere. Hope they must have like cleats or something. That guy clearly did. He got out. He got out. Or he got out in general. Well, Mario's here, and he's gonna use the star power. Oh. Dixie's going to skid right across the ice. Now Santa's here. Of course, Santa is known for ice. That's all he's known for. And he's also known for sailing really big foul balls right into right field. And unfortunately, that's not gonna help him advance. All right, that's another that's another out at first. Okay, DK Wilds are able to hold them scoreless in the second inning. Let's see if they can um, bring some points back. We've got Baby Donkey Kong up to bat first, using this big banana to attack the field. Unfortunately, that does not work out for him. Man, it probably splattered as soon as he hit that ball. All right, Donkey Kong launches that straight straight in front of them. Light Blue Yoshi is going to try to get something done. Launches it right into the hands of Yellow Toad, but it looks like it bounced a little bit before he did that. <laughs> Light Blue Yoshi runs straight by first. Somehow it doesn't get tagged, makes it to second. Very nice job. What is Diddy Kong going to do with his stick? Oh, launches that right to first. Luckily it's a foul though. Oh, here comes Love. Diddy Kong is completely flabbergasted by that love we got from Peach. And unfortunately, that is going to result in another scoreless round for the DK Wilds. So, let's see what happens next. We are going to have Toadsworth coming out. <laughs> now we are going to have Baby Peach coming at the pitch. Baby Peach has shown herself to be a very good pitcher in previous games. 
blue critter is going to try and get a hit off of Baby Peach. Oh, and he's going to get struck right in the shoulder. And advance him to first. Very nice hit from Blue Pianza, heading right to the outfield, breaks that ice block. And now Toadsworth's trying to catch up, but he's an older he's an older guy. He can't really keep up with that very much. And that brings Blue Critter home. Alright, so two runs for the Peach Monarchs. He just keeps running. He's even sliding. Baby Peach. Very, very tired. Alright, so what is... Oh, Blue Pianta. He might have made a mistake here. Oh. Imagine trying to change direction that fast on ice. That might be difficult. Luckily, they were trying to prevent him from going home. So he only gets the third, not the home. Alright, Lively Yoshi. Oh, bumps off his head! Oh, and Baby DK makes a big dive for that, but is not able to get it. That's another point for the Monarchs. Alright, Blue Toad. Desperately trying to get his feet on solid ground. Oh, we have a close play here. And the Monarchs are he's able to boost all the way through. He's going home. Oh, no, he's... He's locked in this purgatory once again. Blue Toad is locked in purgatory. How's, is he going to make it to a solid ground? Nope. DK is going to run him right over. Just steamroll the guy. Alright, we've got a time paradox again, except now we're not. Because she's going to grow up really quick. And we're going to have um, Diddy Kong come into the fish. Alright, let's see what Diddy Kong can do. So he actually started off fishing in the last game he played. Unfortunately, he didn't fish for very long. He's gonna have a nice boomerang shot going there. Oh, that's a nice hit right down the center. Lively Yoshi tries to slurp that ball up, but he's not able to be successful. Beach is gonna run all the way to third. Makes a nice triple off of that. Very nice hit. Yellow Toad is coming up. Let's see. He's trying to see if he can get another point. He goes for the squeeze bunt! And Peach is able to make it home off of that squeeze bunt. Godette hits it right down the center, slurping right by their inner defense. And Toadette makes it to first. Shy Guy, very nice hit right down the left side, but Toadsworth is going to uh, catch that right up. Hello, Mario. Okay, uh, did he come through his one pitch? He says, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So he switches out. He's going to bring in someone else. They're going to bring in Tiny Kong. Oh, and Lamario hits that ball right off of Tiny Kong. And Yellow Toad is going to be able to advance to home. Alright, not looking go so good for the DK Wild at the current moment. But of course, we have seen some comebacks. So we're going to have to see if the DK Wilds can bring it back. But of course, if they want to do that, first they're going to have to stop this run that the Monarchs have got going, and they do it right here. Alright, we are now at the bottom of the third. Game is half over. Uh, can the DK, the DK Wilds can st still bring this back? They have to score five points over the course of three innings, which is not as difficult as it sounds. Of course, Toadsworth has to hit the ball first, but unfortunately he's not going to be able to do that. This cane is very, very thin. Funky Kong is a nice star hit right down the center. Hello Mario is going to catch that, though. Tiny Kong, coming up to bat. Wisely, wisely eyes out that ball. Toadette no, comes forward and gently gropes on Tiny Kong. And is able to get her out before she's able to reach first. So, they do help them still scoreless at the bottom of the third. 
They're slowly building a mountain for themselves. Again, it must be hard for the DK Wilds to... They're probably used to the jungle, so it must be hard for them to operate on the side scanning rank. How did this... How did this stating even get approved for, like, the league? I have no idea. Alright. E.D. Perron. Move Kianta. He's going forward. What is he going to do? Is he going to be able to get a nice hit? He tries a starfish, but is not able to make it. Now Tiny Kong is showing off for the camera. <laughs> Alright, now we've got Donkey Kong coming in. Donkey Kong's coming in to fish. Changing the outfield a bit. Donkey Kong's gonna get a nice fish. He's gonna throw a barrel! Able to hit that out, hit, able to hit that straight out of the barrel, but unfortunately, not much power. All right, so the DK Wilds now have a chance to get some points once again. Time paradox is going on here. Maybe Peach, very well known for her pitching, not so much for her batting prowess. Pixie Kong has a nice hit right down to the inner field. Unfortunately, going to be scooped up right by Yellow Toad. Baby DK up to bat. Again, a somewhat decent hit, but goes straight to first base. And Toadette's not going to let that chance slide. Alright, fifth inning. Monarchs have a chance to bolster their lead just a bit, and the DK Wilds have to get at least five points this inning if they want to. Or even more, depending on how well the Monarchs do this round. Quick out at first by Light Blue Yoshi. Very nice hit from Yellow Toad. Gonna head straight into the outfield. Looks like Baby DK is gonna try his best to catch that, and he's going to be able to. Donkey Kong strong a barrel, trying to murder Toad in cold blood. Thankfully, it's just a strike. Alright, Toadette is going to be out at first. Alright, so they are able to hold them scoreless. Let's see if they can score. They are going to have to score five points, which is a very uphill battle to do. But again, we have seen it. We have seen something very similar to that before. So, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, Peach is going to have to come out here because she is tired. Got a, a slightly illegal pitch there, but thankfully it's a ball. They both proceed to understand. Blue Critter coming into pitch. All right, we've got some strong pitches probably coming out here, or some very quick ones. Gonna completely stump Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's killed lots of Blue Critter's friends over the years, so of course he is not very happy with that. Peach um, catches that very well and is frozen for the rest of her life. Diddy Kong not able to hit that ball, and unfortunately, that is the game. So, the Peach Monarchs are able to get their first victory this season, 5-0. So, very well done on their part. DK Wilds were not able to muster up any sort of um, defense when it comes to the stadium. So, let's see what happens. Let's see who the MVP is for the Peach Monarchs. It's going to be Blue Toad. Got some very nice plays there. Got some good points as well. Let's see the box score. All right, yeah, Blue Toad got a lot of points there. Got a lot of batting, a little bit of running. And the DK Wilds, unfortunately, weren't able to muster much of an offense or a defense when it came to um, participating in this game. But, of course, that could have been the stadium. The stadium is kind of difficult for a lot of teams to play on, actually. But all right, thank you for all for joining us on this Mario Sluggers League game. And I hope you, I see you all next time for the next game um, coming very, very soon. So thank you, and see you later.